but it's the deals they do off the pitch that will increase their chances of buying the best players. Thank you very much. Today, members of the board and executive team are travelling to Germany, hoping to finalise a deal with sports giant Adidas, which would see them return as the club kit and technical partner. So, Peter, first of all, how long is the journey so we know how long we've got? Half an hour. OK. The deal could be worth hundreds of millions of pounds in kit and retail sales over the next five years. Just so I can make clear, this is the biggest deal the club will have ever done, so... It's very important. Uh, so it's, it's a great brand, and it will be, from a financial perspective... Yeah. And to have your brand associated with something like Adidas, and to suddenly have Newcastle shirts in China, Newcastle shirts in shops in, in Los Angeles, in New York, in Timbuktu, that in itself is not just about selling the product, but it's the brand, brand awareness yeah. that it creates for us. I mean, as much as Castor have been fantastic partners, and yeah. now this is a turning point just to go even to it's the next step. It's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's our growth. I can't put any pictures of this on the Instagram. Where you, oh, no, you can't. No, no. <laughs> Don't tell anyone where you're traveling to. The club's representatives are meeting senior Adidas executives at their 145 acre World of Sport campus. Hi, how are you? Really good to see you. Good to see you, welcome. Yeah. Thank you very much, it's so exciting. We made it, my man. We made it. As a chief commercial officer, it's my job to generate as much revenue as possible to invest in the football team. One, two, three. We have a fantastic partner in Castor who have supported us during this period of, of growth. But the deal with Adidas will deliver greater revenue from the sales of Adidas products and also the revenue that we'll earn from Adidas themselves. Financially, it's got the potential to be the most lucrative, um, highest earning partnership the club has ever done. A 200 million pound retail business. So important that the board are comfortable with the partner we're choosing to put at the very heart of the club. Both parties need to leave that meeting thinking we can work together. There's so many people quietly inside of Adidas who kind of want this to happen. When the success kicks in, the expansion happens. We have seen the great success that, that has been done before, and this is what we want to achieve as well. And with your partnership, I think it's reachable. It's like two old lovers getting back together. That's how I see it. Adidas collaborated with Newcastle in the 90s and 2000s, designing the club's first team kits. And some of the key moments that really stuck out to me in terms of creating an iconic Newcastle home kit uh, are these big, bold uh, three black stripes on the front of the kit. I've put out some iconic jerseys. I love this. Shim, out to Robley. This is in the cross. Ferdinand, oh, what a finish! That's Ferdinand, made it look so easy. These are iconic. You know, think back to your youth and your past, and you remember the kit. So fantastic. Ginola, touch inside again. Oh, that is the magic of David Ginola! You can see why our fans have such a rich history with Adidas. They were so proud of all these incredible Amazing. kids. Wow. That's a horrible mistake. It's come to Rob Lee. He's out of the keeper. One nil. To actually see them, it's incredible to, to touch them, feel them from a hard point of history. And it's why we fell in love with the club, because of its incredible legacy. Sitting here. As a co-owner, I kind of have been thinking, you know, what's, what is the legacy going to be? How is the Newcastle United of the future going to look? And that's going to be somewhat determined by the decisions we make today. Hi guys. Hey, we are. Hello. 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 How are you doing? What happened? We had a budget discussion about Newcastle. <laughs> <laughs> A new, oh, a new oh, loss. Oh, 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 oh. 
So you happy with the squad that is coming together for next year? Or? Yeah, well, we, all, we can't spend just scattergun, so we've been targeted. And I think that's the key now this window again, to look to improve the first 11, but it's going to take a decent quality player to do that. I think the change in ownership tells us that this is a serious project and, and you can see it already now. I mean, I don't think many people will believe that they will be where they are. It's going to be a great thing for the fan, the club and us. Now we just got to push. So this relationship is so important to us because it allows us to really grow the brand, the commercial value. Maybe you're one of the key elements so that it excites us about this partnership is we need to grow a fan base. As we know in football, it takes a bit of time, success to grow in North America and China and, and other markets. So we're obviously very focused on Saudi for the reasons of football's number one, two and three in the market. And of course, Adidas is also invested in that market with the Saudi national team. So we feel it's, there's a good synergy there. Adidas are going to be marketing to capture this 35 million young demographic. And as we grow our fan base in Saudi, that will lead to more commercial revenues, which again, from a football perspective, it's money to be invested by Eddie and Dan in the team. It's a good fit. Perfect. Thank you for that.